Hello everyone, this is Houston Brown with Houston Brown Photography and just a short little tutorial today. You might find yourself in this situation as a real estate photographer where you want to put the camera in a bathroom but you or your camera at least is in the reflection. There's nothing really you can do about it. Now there are two different ways you can go about doing this. One way is to put the camera over here on this side and then on the opposite side and shoot this door so you have that and then you can come in here and replace it. That's one way to do it. In a case like this, let me zoom in here a little bit, where I see a pattern, or in this case these squares on the doors, if I could just extend that and push all of this down out of this mirror, that could be quite helpful. I don't really think anyone's going to notice that these little doorknobs aren't there. And if I really wanted to spend the time, I could put them back. So let me show you what I'm talking about. The tutorial is going to take a lot longer to do than the actual act itself if you weren't doing a tutorial. So um, I've got stacked images here. So I'm going to go down to my main image, which is this one down here on the bottom. And basically what I want to do is I want to extend this section of both of these doors down to push this camera off. So um, I'm going to draw a square in this area. I don't want to really include the top or the bottom, just the midsection that I can stretch out. So I'm going to start over here. It doesn't really matter. Just so long as I encompass the camera area. And I don't want to go down here and include the bottom half of the square, or the rectangle. I want to come up to about right here. And then I'm going to tweak this by doing a transform on this selection. Okay. And then I'm just going to hit command and, and see that I'm on this layer. This is the original layer. So I'm going to hit command J and that made a duplicate of that selection. So I'm going to move it on top and then I'm going to do a transform on this and I'm simply just going to click and drag until the camera is below the mirror. And then I'm simply just going to create a mask and you could just delete this. I'll use my polygonal lasso tool. And we'll just draw a mask around this and fill it with black. And there you go. Presto camera is gone. Now it may look a little strange because we know what it looked like and we could come back and put the little doorknobs right here if we wanted to. And yes, everything is a little bit elongated through this crack, but I promise you, your client or anybody else, if they didn't see this, would ever notice. <laughs> Anyways, just a short little quick tip on how to get rid of your camera in a reflection. Hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you in the next one.